Hello chess fans, this is YouTube channel Chess Analysis 64. In this video we will be giving an example where the white player blocks the activity of the opponent's bishop on a long diagonal and as a result gains a material advantage or checkmates the black king. This video is aimed for intermediate chess players, try to apply the strategy in your games. As we can see in this position, the white player is threatening to move the c1 rook to a1 check. And after the king moves away from the threat, the white rook will capture the black queen. But the problem here is that the black bishop is guarding the a1 square. So the white player advances the d3 pawn to d4, blocking the black bishop, and as a result guarantees checkmating the black king or gaining a material advantage. Let's check out the most important responses by black. If he moves the black king to b6, then the white queen moves to c3, and threatens to move the white rook to b1, check. Here the black king is forced to a6, and finally the white queen moves to a3 checkmate. And if the black queen moves to a2, guarding the b1 square, then the white queen moves to c5, check. The black king moves to a6, the white bishop moves to f1, check. The b7 pawn moves to b5, the white bishop captures the b5 pawn, check. And if the black king moves to a5, then the white bishop captures the black rook, check. The only move for black is moving the king to a6. Finally, the white bishop moves to c8. Checkmate. Back to the previous position. If instead the black king moves to b7, then the white bishop captures the black rook, and the white player guarantees checkmate. The black player can postpone checkmate by moving his knight to g4. Check. The h3 pawn captures the black knight. The black queen moves to b2. Now the white queen moves to c8. Check. Here the black king moves to a7 because moving to b6 results in losing the black queen and then checkmate. White to move. The white queen moves to c7. Check. Blocking with the black queen results in checkmate. So the black king moves to a6. White sacrifices his rook. Check. The black queen captures the white rook. The white bishop checks the black king, the black king moves to b5, the white queen checks the black king, the black king moves to a4, finally the white bishop moves to d7, checkmate. Back to our previous position, when the white queen moved to c3, what if the black rook threatened the white queen? Here the white rook will check the black king, the only move for the black king is a6, finally the white queen moves to a3, checkmate. Back to our previous position. What if the black queen threatened the white queen? Here the white rook checks the black king, and if the black king moves a6, then it's checkmate in 9 moves. And if the black king moves a7, then the white queen wins the black queen. Back to our previous position. What if the black king moves to b5 instead of b6? Here the white queen moves to c3, and white guarantees checkmate. A possible continuation is moving the black queen to a2, guarding the b1 square. Here the white bishop checks the black king, and whatever black plays, it's checkmate. A possible continuation is king to b6. Now the white queen moves to c5, checkmate. Back to the starting position. To wrap up our video, after the white player moved the d3 pawn to d4 and blocked the a1 h8 diagonal, the black player had to accept one of two options. The first, losing the queen, and the second, allowing white pieces to checkmate his king. Okay, we have reached the end of our video. Hope you found this example useful. Hopefully, I will be uploading new videos soon. Feel free to give any comments, and don't forget to share, subscribe, and like. You can also follow us on our Instagram account, ChessAnalysis64. Thanks for listening, and good luck with your next chess game.